Hey, what's up? It's just Gems, and I have another video for you that I want to review. This time, it is a young man, a young African man who obviously lives in the United States, and he is trying to combat all the foolery that's been going on online between Africans and African Americans. Apparently, on TikTok, they have been Africans, uh, young Africans have been posting these different tiktok saying you know different things about african americans and um even using rap music and all of our hand gestures and all of that trying to convey that they're different and they are you know somehow better i guess i'm not sure but that's the vibe it's giving and you know, African Americans are responding to all the foolishness and it has transferred over to Twitter. And I want to share what this young man has to say. He actually makes great points and he's talking to his African community because us as African Americans or foundational black Americans, melanated people that have been here since slavery and perhaps before, um, we don't grow up in in homes talking to each other about how bad Africans are or don't talk to Africans if they come, you know, or if you see them. We don't have those kind of conversations, but time and time again, it's been exposed that some Africans do have those conversations in their home uh, when they've moved here to America or when they're back at home that, hey, don't associate with those black Americans. They are lazy. They are dumb. They are violent. They are thugs. They have all of these conversations. I've seen Africans discuss this online and say that that's what uh, happened in their home or they know their family members that do that and talk about that. So this young man is, I guess he's first generation American and he grew up with African American or black Americans as his schoolmates, friends and all of that. And he can see the difference and he can see um, what he may have heard was inaccurate. But I'm going to let him tell you all about it. I'm sharing this based on fair use for educational purposes. And then I'll follow up with my commentary. African versus African Americans. These are the Asper Wars half the fuck out. Us African immigrants are moving a lot like colonizers and gentrifiers. We move into these low income black neighborhoods, disrespect the residents, and pick and choose which parts of African American culture that we enjoy and viciously condemn the parts of African American culture that we do not. That sounds a little familiar, don't it? Unfortunately, most African immigrants internalize that the quickest way to assimilate into American culture is through anti-blackness. Because as we all know far too well, anti-blackness is as American as genocide. I mean, apple pie. I'm sorry to inform y'all, but this strategy is not going to work because in the eyes of Mayonnaise America, you are still a nigga. The young man made an excellent point. There are some Africans that will try to make sure that they are separated and they let the white folks know that, hey, we, you know, we're not like those lazy Akata. We're not like them. And they feel like they have some kind of special place in white folks heart and they're protected from anything that black Americans will go through because they're somehow quote unquote different. But let's go back and look at Toby Obamselli. I think that's how you say his name. The guy, the African that was killed by his white girlfriend. And he had been all on Twitter talking a bunch of noise about black American women. And it was so bad that his brother had to come out kind of begging black America to rally around what happened and try to get some traction for them and get some help because the girl wasn't even arrested for a long time after she had allegedly murdered their brother. It just goes to show, you know, don't come out here and separate yourself, segregate yourself and act like you're not a part of us. You don't want any dealings with us. And then when something happens, we turn into the, oh, we all brothers, we, the black community, we got to come together. It doesn't work like that. And they, I hope they saw that on that particular situation. I know some of them did, but I hope all that think that way, that they're somehow separate from black America. 
I hope that they understand that if it comes down to it and then you need us and we find out that you've been dogging us and separating yourself from us because you feel you're somehow better, we're inferior, then you're going to be on your own. Um, but let me let him finish this, his point. Only difference, you got an accent they can make fun of. If a cop pulls up on you, at no point are they going to ask you, hey, jambalaya jello, the sabali for collard greens, nigga, identify yourself. And we try to pass that mentality down to our American born children. Thankfully though, it's not effective because we're no longer talking about mystery African American. You're now talking about our friends, classmates, coworkers, teammates, girlfriends, boyfriends, etc. So the idea is that this mentality dies the further down the bloodline we go. Or at least I thought it was until I log into the clock app and see that we're still arguing about the same damn things. For my fellow Africans who are just acting like their home country is God's favorite oasis, can I ask you a quick question? Why did you or your parents leave? To get a better life, right? Well, what do you think African Americans want? Only difference is nine times out of 10, they don't have the option to go somewhere else like we do. So not only do they have to deal with the same narratives that unseasoned America gives them from people who not only look like them, but are from this motherland that was stripped from them, we have the nerve to do it right next door to them. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I'd bang with us too much either. So in the future, my people, why not be a little more compassionate? Matter of fact, let's take it a step further. Be embracing. We have a connection to a motherland that they don't have, and it's a beautiful one. Why wouldn't you wanna share that? Historically speaking, we have done a terrible job of doing that. And I feel that if we do a better job of that, eventually these tensions are gonna die down a little bit. I think that was very well said and that very well uh, represents what we as foundational black Americans feel as far as when the Africans do come over here and then side with the oppressor, side with non-black people, non-melanated people, and they say the same things or they try to distance themselves from us and you live in the hood with us but you've got your own little enclave where a few live together and y'all do your own thing you don't try to speak with us you have an attitude with us for some reason and we don't even know you and that causes a problem there's a divide there and like i said as far as I've seen and the people I know, we didn't grow up uh, discussing Africans. We were here in America just trying to, to live our lives and become a part of this society and try to try to reach that uh, fake American dream. You know, so we weren't thinking about Africans. We would just see them on TV, on the little commercials, the terrible commercials with flies on children and, and all of that. But you know, we grew up and we later find out like, wow, y'all are over there. Some of them are over there talking about how bad we are. They sound worse than the supposed oppressor. So it's really some work to do. You know, we all can use each other's help if we could get behind one another and not come over here. And some Africans come over here talking about, we don't need no reparations. What the hell are you doing? That has nothing to do with you but it's between us and the american government so don't come over here speaking against us don't come over here siding with them telling them how bad we are when we can look at the people that you left behind in those other countries and we could see something you know what i'm saying we could see what you left behind and then when you come here where our ancestors have made the way for you to be able to come here then it really does leave a bad taste in our mouth. And now we got these kids on TikTok saying how, uh, like, oh, African-Americans are bothered and da, 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 da. They're on here doing all of this foolery. So we have a long way to go on mending this or moving on, you know. So let me know what you think in the comments and make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, peace.